There we go. Hi, everybody. Let's see if I can find me here. Hi, Tia. Okay, I see somebody there, so I must be live. I couldn't find myself. <laughs> it says, tap subscribe. Hi, Donna. Oh, look at you, Donna. Thank you for hanging out. Hi, Diana. Hi, Jean. Hope you're doing well. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully everyone can hear me well. I have my microphone on. So today we're going to be making um, some rather simple cards. Now I will say I don't have any of the stuff ready aside from the stamp sets, but I got several different stamp sets out. So we could do something for fall. We I also have a Christmas. We could do something for Christmas. I kind of got some um, other stamp sets out for like sentiments or something like that. And one thing I didn't get, which is... I guess I could do a punch or a die, but I have my, you know what? I brought my um, So Sentimental die, so we'll use those. I'll just grab my die cutting platform over here. That way I have that ready. So I've done this card before, but actually when I was thinking back, it's been two years since I've done this type of a card before. And basically you're doing something that's really simple and you're gonna add just a little bit of something to it. So hopefully it will make it very easy to reproduce, which should be pretty pretty much pretty simple, and um, very easy to interchange out to any season or style, really, because you could also do this with a fall card, but not necessarily a fall stamp set. So that's one of the ideas I have today. So I am going to grab two things. I have, I think this is my thick, thick vanilla, and I want to grab my thick whisper white. And then pretty much everything else, we're just going to do stamping. So it's going to be rather simple with the base part of it. But um, everything else should be pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is, it's nice to see everybody. Oh, and you're at a quilt retreat. How fun. That's awesome, Kathy. Nice to see you. It's nice to see everybody. I miss you guys. Um, I will say I do really like school, but it's keeping me way busier than I expected. So I'm hoping this weekend that I will um, get to get some projects and some videos done for you guys because I am way behind. So never thought it would be this much work to be a helper. I'm not even the teacher. I can't even imagine if I was the teacher how much work that would be. And money and time and I have an entirely new respect for teachers way more than I ever had in my entire life because it is hard 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 work oh I'm glad they love the boxes Kathy it's hard work it's exhausting it costs a lot of money the teachers spend so much money and they have a good budget anyway so hello so thank you for joining me I saw someone else commented and said that they were um they were going to try to comment after the fact. Oh, Karen, that's so sweet. Thank you. Wednesdays aren't the same. I'm not going to get too busy for you. I just have to fit you in. So Thursday, I think, is going to be Thursday evening is going to be my new thing. And then Saturday, probably the morning. Um, but Saturday, I think that's what I'm going to go. And I'm like, whoo, it's very... I have a lot of lights on here for the desk, but it's not being very kind to me. Plus, it's a different... It's a night out, so I have extra lights on. <laughs> But I feel this tired. I probably look tired. I feel just this tired as well. Okay, so now I can see the comments here. I see everything on the side. That was Debbie who said she's going to comment again at the end. So thank you. So not too busy for you. Never too busy for crafting. I still have thought of some really good ideas. I just have to plan them. And I have one of my cards done for my um, 
in-person card class, which is next Saturday. So that's really fun. So I have three more to do. I have three ideas, but anyway, maybe I'll incorporate this into one of them. Just in case you missed this, I did these on Saturday and we did these with watercolor. It's kind of hard to see, but they turned out so beautifully. I was really impressed with how nicely they turned out. Really, really pretty. So if you haven't watercolored, definitely give it a try. It gives you a whole nother use for your inks. And especially, I really, really like the taping that we did with these. So it has the line taped. It was really, really pretty. They look so much different now that they're fully dry. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, you guys are so nice. Thank you, Tia. That's so kind of you. Hi, Carmen. Thanks for, for watching. I also have my Fast and Fabulous that kind of slipped off the Friday path, but I do have four cards that I made. I actually made them two Fridays ago, and the video stopped three times, and I haven't been able to get it fixed. So I have those cards to share, and I have another card. I'm going to share this one just because I thought it was so cute. I actually made this from a dud piece. So I'm going to show, show this to you guys so you can see it. Let's see which way is the best way to see it. Let me get rid of this light over here a little bit look at that card so i actually went over that with three different color inks and then i ran it through the cobweb embossing folder and then i wrapped my absolute favorite ribbon there and i used the corner the um i think it's called what is it called around the corners right corners corner i don't know it's in the back of the book but I thought this turned out really cool for like a card that really I was truly ready to throw in the garbage. <laughs> Didn't think it was good. And when these garbage days aren't the same, so I'm guessing Wednesday was garbage day, Donna. <laughs> Me and the garbage. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pop you guys over here. And I'm going to put... Oops, I hit the wrong button on my iPad there. I'm going to put... Let's see. Catch back up. Come on. I did also get a whole new Google Wi-Fi system. I don't know if anybody has that or not, but we have Verizon. So I'm in Maryland. So we have Verizon television and internet, phone, etc. And why isn't that one working? Come on, Reach. And apparently you can't use Verizon television with the Google thing, which is weird. So we only have like some of our televisions are working. So the internet is really improved, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to keep it because it's like you can't watch television. So we would have to decide if we were going to keep Verizon or not. So just in case you were potentially thinking of doing something like that, make sure that it's compatible with whatever it is television you have because ours you still have to keep it. We're trying to get rid of the Verizon router, but in order to watch television, you still have to have it. Who knew? Not me. Okay, so I'm going to flip you guys around. And I see Cindy popped in there late. Let's see. Hi, Cindy. Oh, you did your thumbs up as you came in. Awesome. All right, I'm going to flip you around. Ooh, this phone is really hot. I'm hoping it hangs in there because this is making me a little nervous. It was overheating before, so hmm. haven't used it in, I guess it's been about a week now. No, not quite that long. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you some ideas. So we might make one of each. I'm hoping we won't have any issues with this in the technical aspect today. Let me move my iPad over here so I can see what you guys are saying. Hi, Gail. So glad you stopped in today. So you could definitely do this with Snowman Season. You could also do this with Harvest Hellos, with Gather Together. And even with framed for you. So I just brought these mainly for the sentiments. And then I have um, so sentimental for the dies. But I also like, so if you maybe don't have this one necessarily, which one of my downline was telling me she thought she ordered, but then she couldn't remember the tasteful bundle. And I can never remember what the dies are called, but I think it's tastefully God, tailored. I don't even know. But anyway, these are great dies. I love these dies. And I really like the So Sentimental bundle dies. So the stamp set, if you buy the stamp set and the dies, you do save 10%. So these are really cute as well. We also still have the demonstrator special going on. In case you're in interested, you get two extra stamp sets for free, which is really cool. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to do 
this one first and I'm going to do this as a fall card and then I'm going to do it as a regular card and then I think I'll do maybe one of these two because they're going to be very simple and then we'll do maybe a snow. So I'm going to try to knock out four cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two. I'll do two with uh, Thick Whisper White and then I will do two with the Thick Very Vanilla. So you want to have thick if you're using these as your base cards because otherwise they're not going to hold up very well, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm very carefully bringing in my Simply Scored. I'm going to score both of these and then I'm going to cut them in half and then we will get stamping. The only thing we really have to do is just choose colors and I'm going to say we'll probably stick with, um, I'm just going to score this in half at five and a half. Probably stick with maybe three colors because kind of any more than that it almost is like a competition and you can't figure out who is going to win so we'll do three colors and maybe we'll change them around for the fall to see what we like better and then i'm just going to bring this in really quickly with my trimmer and i'm going to cut both of these at four and a quarter so we have two vanillas and two whites and that's really going to be it. The only other thing we might need are some scrap pieces. So again, I'm going to start with this first. This is framed for you. I really love this frame. There's a really great example, a sample of this in the catalog that I thought was really, really neat. So this is what we're going to do today. So the only thing I need, let me get this ready so I can clean just in case. Because I haven't been crafting as much. I've been using this because my chamois <laughs> are drying out because I haven't been using them. All right, and I did keep this insert piece here. You probably don't really need it, and honestly, I think I'm gonna throw it away because I probably won't use it for anything, but what we're gonna do is we will grab the flower, and and if you have um, the smaller blocks, this will work really well for the smaller blocks. I think they're A. We have another small flower and pine cones. Yeah, we'll go with the pine cones. Let's just do, eh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if we want the pine cones or if we want the little sprig. We'll see which way it goes. So I was saying you could use this to create a fall card because it would be rather simple. But we're going to do one. We're going to try to do one that's not necessarily fall colors. So I'm going to pick three colors. I'm going to do Misty Moonlight and gorgeous grape and melon mambo just because i want something at least one of the cards for us to do to be something bright so we'll go with melon mambo first and i'm going to just ink up my stamp so here is my score line in case you can't see that that way you know where you want to stamp you can also fold this in half that way if you wanted to stamp off but i'm going to try to keep mine so they are um, pretty much on and kind of just to one side. So I'm gonna stamp my flower. Now this stamp set does have a little bit of um, a detail to it. So you can see it's got, oh, I have a little ring line there, pressed a little too hard. It's not super duper smooth. So if you stamp this and you're like, wait a minute, that just does not look right. That's kind of why. So you don't really have to worry about it too, too much. It's supposed to look that way. And if you're ever curious about that and you don't really know, the other thing you can do is you can look at your stamp case, which is why I like to kind of keep it handy just because. So there was two. And I'm going to do two different things for this. So I'm actually going to keep, I'm going to keep with the three colors, but I'm going to do two of them, one of them full strength and one of them stamped off. So I have the pine cones. I think I got a little bit too ink happy with that. Yeah, so I'm going to do the pine cones. And then I'm going to do the leaves, but the leaves I'm going to ink up and I'm going to stamp off. Yeah, I'm going to stamp off before I stamp them. So we'll do one, two, three. So it's kind of like, whoops, it's kind of like you have four different even though you have just three inks there because you stamped off you could certainly repeat that with another stamp as well you could also do that maybe with the smaller sprig if you wanted to 
And you could do the same thing by adding in this little kind of texturized area. So this one I think would be really nice if we did a little bit of a larger greeting. So let me see what we have over here is. How about we'll do just as a really simple one. I haven't even mounted this one yet. We'll do, you got this. And I'm just gonna pull this off real quick. In case you haven't seen these before, the cling mount stamps, I haven't done this in a while, but the cling mount stamps really, 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 really stick. So you wanna make sure that you line it up, you put this down onto something, as opposed to the way we used to do it when we kinda just winged it because it didn't stick. And then when you pull it off, it's gonna be sticky. So what you wanna do is, I usually stick it to my hand or you can stick it to your clothes because it's almost too sticky, right? Of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in one extra color. Now I wasn't planning on this, I was gonna do black, but since we have these really bright colors, what I'm gonna do instead of black, which I think will bring it down, I'm gonna just do navy. So I'm gonna take my stamp now since i've never used this before i do want to stamp it to make sure everything looks okay and you can see from this this looks like a pretty solid image but here we're kind of getting some spotting so another thing you can do to help yourself out if you've never seen this before is you can get out your versamark and i'm going to try to clean this as much as i can and now i'm going to ink it in versamark just lightly it doesn't need to be soaking wet and then I'm gonna cover this up so I don't make a mess. Then ink it in the color I want, which is Knight of Navy. Okay, I think we have a little bit better coverage. And then I'm just gonna put this right here. And look at that, easy peasy. I did do a little drop over here, but really easy, very simple. So there's one card done move these out of the way so again that was night of navy misty moonlight gorgeous grape and melon mambo so that was pretty simple i'm just going to wipe these off scoot this over okay so I'm gonna pull these off and I'm just gonna pop these back in here. So again, that was a, I believe it's called Framed For You. This has a lot of sentiments, but the sentiments in this um, stamp set are just a teeny bit smaller. And I kind of wanted something big since so we had those little flowers, okay? So that is that one. So I'll just set this on the side and I'll bring that back at the end. And let me move this out of the way. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to a more, um, I don't want to say thanksgiving e, but kind of fall. So you could do fall, you could do Thanksgiving, kind of any way you want. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring the vanilla out, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. And for this one, what we'll do is we're going to add something added. We'll, we'll pop up the sentiment in a different way. Now, this one also does have, oh, I guess I forgot to mount this. This also has coordinating dies. So if you wanted to make this extra fancy, you could always go ahead and cut out the dies. I did do the dies before in vellum, which looks really cool. You could cut out the pumpkin. So that would be something extra we could do. So let me see. I have a small, I don't have any scraps of vanilla but we might be able to get away with doing something different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pumpkins and we'll do cinnamon cider and Cajun craze and maybe we'll do real red. And I'm wondering, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Cajun. That's a little too much. And I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna do green. Garden green. So. Cinnamon cider, real red, garden green. So what I'm gonna do first is, and actually I'm gonna bring in one extra. I'm gonna bring pumpkin pie and I'm gonna stamp the pumpkins. So I'm stamping them onto white. And I know you ne necessarily wouldn't wanna combine these two, but I'm gonna do this just for now and we'll see how this ends up working out, okay? So bear with me. And after the fact, we might say, yeah, we should have stuck with vanilla. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have my very large maple leaf. 
and what else do we have? We have the bigger pumpkin. And we have the wheat. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. This isn't going to be necessarily like your standard Halloween colors because I'm thinking. So I'm going to do the leaf in red and the wheat in cinnamon cider. And then I'm going to do the pumpkin in green just to change it up a little bit, okay? So since this leaf is rather large, I might only do two but I wanna see what it looks like first. So again, this is photopolymer, so the only thing we wanna do for this is we wanna make sure we give it time for the ink to transfer from the stamp. So we'll go with one. Oh, you love my shirt, thank you. <laughs> the kids like this at school today too. Now, instead of like rotating and figuring out another thing, you can also just turn your card stock. So since this is a big leaf, I'm only going to do two. So there's going to be that. That was real red. And then the pumpkin is bigger. So I'm going to bring the pumpkin in with garden green. And one more down here, kind of at the bottom. So there is our pumpkin in garden green. And then last but not least, we'll do the wheat in cinnamon cider. And I wanna see, cinnamon cider is a definitely a different color, so I'm gonna stamp this and see what it looks like. I kinda like it more second, but I feel like it's gonna be a little lost. So I'm gonna keep it full strength ink. All right, so there's that. And again, if you wanted to, you could add in another one and just stamp it off first. So then you have still just three colors, but we've kind of brought the other one back. So I'm gonna try just super quickly. I'm gonna actually, and you know what? I don't wanna do these because I don't need to do that. I was gonna fussy cut them, but I don't have to. And the cool part about this, not even thinking, is you can cut both of these because they give you two of those. So you get, these are different sizes, but they kind of could work one in one. But I'm gonna pop both of these through on the die cutting machine. And then I feel like I probably should have stamped those in on vanilla. So I'm gonna make sure that I do my sentiment on vanilla and then we'll cut that out. So this could be kind of a cool thing if this is going to be big enough. What if we stamp our sentiment onto this maple leaf, attach the pumpkins to it, and now since I have this out and I went to the trouble of doing it, I'm actually going to do this because otherwise I think it's going to look crappy. So I'm going to do this. We're going to do all these at once. I'm going to move this over. And we probably could have, if we wanted to add in a little bit more, we could have added in some different colors for the pumpkins. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. I'm going to die cut these two pumpkins. I'm going to die cut this maple leaf. So I'm just going to put him on the end here and then we'll stamp our sentiment in. And maybe we'll even stamp something else on there. We'll have to see. But I'm going to put this all through the die cutting machine at the same time. And as a matter of fact, um, some of my Stampin' Friends and I, we were chatting, they shared a video with me where somebody did a really cool stamping in a image that they po um, pulled off of the internet. And it looked really cool. And it kind of reminds me of this whole concept right now with the, the, make, the maple leaf. So I'm gonna have to try that sometime. It was definitely really, really unique. I can't remember who it was that did the technique, but it was really cool. Kind of along the lines of what um, Gail does with, um, I believe it's Louisiana. Louisiana. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I've watched her a few times. She does a lot of stuff where she prints things and then goes back and colors them in. So this was kind of the same thing, except instead of coloring it, you were stamping on the die cut area, which was pretty cool. And that just ripped because my tape was a little bit too strong and I pulled the wrong way. But I'm going to let it go. 
Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick with the same stamp set for this one. So I'm going to, what do I wanna put? Season of Thanks, no, let's do Gather Together. I like that one a little better. And I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna bring this out one more time with the cinnamon cider and the wheat, but I'm gonna stamp it off. I'm gonna stamp it off. And maybe one more. That looks good, because I don't want it to be too overpowering. And I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm going to grab my, I'm gonna grab my shimmer pen because I don't think my blender pens have enough juice in them. And I'm just gonna take my shimmer pen and shimmer pens kind of act like a, a blender pen, but with glitter. And what I'm doing is I'm just spreading the ink inside of these pumpkins and I'll show you the difference so you can see this. And it kind of also makes it a little bit glittery. This was the one that kind of got a little bit pulled so it's not super crisp, but so what it does is this one doesn't have any color, it's just the stamped image. And this one, what I did is I actually just took the ink from the edges and what it does is it blends it to the inside. So it kind of lightens it. So let me see if I can bring this up far enough that you can see. So it just kind of reactivates the ink just like that. And then you'll have a little bit more filled in. So that's really pretty. So then we're gonna grab, gather together. So I'm gonna move, let me move this over real quick just so I don't do any whoopsies. And one good thing we do have to look forward to, we can always potentially go back to Wednesday mornings um, come summer again, because you know, there's no summer school. So we at least have that going for us, right? <laughs> I told the, the lady that I'm helping today, which she is really funny. We are, we are, I'll say we've definitely become very close friends. And, uh, I said something about, you know, it's hard, it's hard to stick with stuff when you're sticking with something new, you know, like doing something new is a challenge. I said, you know, kind of like me coming back here every day. And she said, oh, please don't tell me you're not going to come back. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. But I've also been able to do a lot of crafty things. And we are doing something tomorrow with the kids where we're putting um, shaving cream in and a dot of um, color. And then they're going to squeeze it to see what color it becomes. And I was like, oh, kind of, it's almost like crafting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sneak and bring in one extra color. I'm gonna take my bumblebee marker and I've been doing a lot of cutting. We have been doing a lot of crafts and I'm just gonna go over the edge of this with my marker. Kind of just to add a little bit of color so it stands out against that other vanilla. You could have done this with red, but I almost feel like it might be a little bit too harsh and I kind of want this part to be just a little bit soft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this just like that. And then we can put our pumpkin on here. And then this pumpkin is kind of a dud. Like I said, it kind of got messed up on the inside. So we could add this to the inside if we wanted to, but I'm gonna put this on with a little bit of liquid glue. My one liquid glue that I use, it's a fresh bottle. So every time I use it, it's like opening up a dam. Go back and I have a little puddle. There it goes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just put this. Even though the leaf is a little crooked, which is kind of the way I wanted it to go, and then we're gonna put this up on a dimensional. And just put one on each. Just add a little something. So, kind of sticking to one side, you can see that could have probably gone with just the light wheat. I kind of think I like the light wheat a little bit better, but you know, you don't really learn, you don't really know until you try something out. So if you don't like the dark wheat, just go with the lighter one. Again, that was, that one was in cinnamon cider. So there is number two. Let me put these back in here. That way you guys can see 
that and I'll clean up my stamps later. So that was card number two. Okay. So let me see. And I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to try one more time. Let me move this over. Just popping these in here real quick. I feel like most of these I cleaned. I can always go back and do them later. I really do like this stamp set though. This is one that did carry over from last year. So I was very grateful for that because I love the maple leaf. This is always also a really good one to do if you wanted to do something on vellum. So you could stamp the outline on vellum and then die cut it. It does turn out to be really, really pretty. So that's another nice one as well. Okay, so now we'll do Harvest Hellos. Again, we'll kind of stick this one. This one could kind of go like Thanksgiving, fall, if you still didn't give or haven't necessarily gone back to school you could do this as a back to school as well but we'll do this in fall colors but we're going to keep this one more i guess you could say more like pumpkin colors so we'll stick with more of oranges we'll do like yellows and oranges we'll see i don't know now i almost want to do maybe the apple but we'll see we'll do the seeds because that's cute We'll do the leaf, and I do really like the apple slice. You know what? If we're doing the apple, though, we have to go with the leaf. We'll go with the leaf. So this is for anybody that maybe didn't get to do a back-to-school thing yet because maybe you necessarily haven't gone back to school or you just... You know, I'm going to tell you what, I guarantee if you gave this to your teacher and you've even been in school for a while, they'd probably be really happy to receive it. So I'm going to do real red for our apple. So we're just going to put our apple. And you could do this also in granny apple green would be really cute. And we'll do our leaf. I'm going to do this in kind of a more bright. We'll do shaded spruce. And then last but not least, we'll do the seeds. And I am going to stick with um, Memento for this, just because I think it kind of look a little bit more of a pop. All right. And I'm going to keep my Memento out because we may end up using that for something. Let me just wipe these off. Now, the nice part about this one, and if I wasn't hooked up to this mic, I would say I'd run over and grab it. So now I'm almost second guessing whether or not I need to get that microphone that you can walk around with. <laughs> because you know how I am where I'm always grabbing stuff as we go along, right? And I'm like, oh, I should have this. Oh, I should have that. Because you could use the apple and you could punch out the apple for your sentiment over here, which would be really, really cute. So let's see, if not, how about if we do welcome back and you make me smile. I think that'll be cute. Let's try that. So what we'll do is we'll do that on, I know I have some whisper white scrap here. So we will do, welcome back. You make me smile. Oh, goodness. And I'm going for white and I need vanilla. Come on, Rach. Now for this one, how about if we do, we'll do one in granny apple green and we'll do the other one in real red. And then we'll see. I don't think I can stretch and reach the apple. Welcome back. Oops, that's upside down. I have enough time. Hard time as it is, so I probably should make sure it's at least facing the correct direction. Let me try this one more time. I'm going to flip it. Just because I want them just a little bit closer together. Much better. Okay. Let me close these up. Hi to everybody that's hopping in late. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Mm, I don't know if I can reach it or not. So I'm not going to risk it because you remember what happened to me that one time. 
and I was doing dumb stuff. A little too big. Almost closed mine, closed line myself. We'll do that. Welcome back. You make me smile. You could even do this with a little, one of the little um, stitched scalp rectangles. I know I'm always doing circle things. Let's do something rectangle because I hardly ever do anything with the rectangles. I don't know why. So I'm just going to take this, make sure it's for the most part centered and kind of even. And I'm going to grab a little piece of my tape. And this is the tape that I actually used to um, hook down those cards that we did the watercolor with the other day. So it is definitely has lost some of its sticky, but apparently not quite enough. So I'm going to just run this through my die cutting machine. Hi, Carol from Connecticut. And then Donna is from Arizona. Paper piece. Oh my gosh, Amy, I'm super looking forward to Stamp Club too. So we see it's on the back, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see that part. Maybe you're meaning um, Louisiana does a lot of paper piecing because I saw that she did that with the jeans and I thought that was such a cool idea. So this kind of could get lost back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. You could also um, outline the edge of it if you wanted to. I think I should only need three. You could outline the edge of it with your marker if you wanted to make it stand up a little bit more. So stand out. But I kind of think it'll look cool with the just the tone one tone. That it almost looks like it's part of the card, but not quite really. Okay. And once again, you know, in true Rachel fashion, I have a little whoopsie up there, but that's okay. So welcome back. You make me smile. So really simple. You could, if you wanted to, you could take it up another notch. And and I say gray, but you don't really necessarily need gray. Let me see what, if you wanted to. Crumb cake. You don't want to do this with your Stampin' Blends because it will show up on the other side. But you could color in your little seeds. Add a little extra color in there if you wanted to. So there's that part. And if you wanted to take it up one more. And I'm going to make sure this is clean because I did something with a color earlier with the orange but you could take your shimmer pen and you could just color you're just barely dragging so you're just barely touching the edge of the ink there and it's going to reactivate it and then you can color in so it looks like you have a colored in um the what it would be is the skin of your apple just make sure that you're careful when you get to your black your memento shouldn't bleed but I'd rather be on the safe side and just avoid it. So I kind of skipped that spot. So this is just a little extra something you could add in if you wanted to. You don't have to do this part, but it kind of fills in, gives you a little bit more added color in there. So there is that one, really simple. So, so far again, we have two kind of fall harvesty. This could be Thanksgiving, you know, autumn. We have one that's just a very general card. And again, these are all very, very simple, which is very, very hard for me to do. You know, I am not a simple person. So a really nice kind of anytime greeting that was using frame for you. Gather together. This one's a little bit more involved. And we have that little die cut maple leaf and then harvest hellos. And again, we did use the... Um, the sentimental dies. I can't remember what exactly they're called, but they go with the so sentimental bundle. So the scalloped rectangle there. Okay. So for my final trick, <laughs> what I'm going to do is we're going to do a Christmas one. And I just want to clean these off so I can put this away. And then we will use the snowman. I really, really like the snowman. I think that's one of my, um, one of my favorite ones, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Frosty, but also at the same time, it's just really super, just like a general snow thing. Now, one thing that is a little bit harder because this doesn't have any, doesn't have like all the little cutesy things, okay? So you don't have like seeds, there's not carrot You do have the hat and you have the snowman. You have the little snow that's falling like a snowballs. So this one is gonna be a little bit different so what I think I might do for this one, and we're going to do this one in blues, is I think I might do maybe like the snowflakes and the snowball and then the hat and maybe I'll color this in a little bit and then the let it snow. 
because I think, I feel like I need to bring something different in. So I think the let it snow is gonna be our major image. So let me just fold this over. And you know what I need to do is wipe this off because that is where that smudge came from. Oh, sorry about that guys. Okay. Rainbow Stamper's at soccer, so that's why it's so quiet. So I'm gonna do my little snowflake image. And then I have the other one that's kind of like the snow, the snow balls and the snow, whatever this is. This needs to be cleaned before I use it. I need to remember that. And then we'll do the hat. And then we'll use one of our sentiments for that. So let me just wipe both of these off or all three of them, I should say, just to make sure they're nice and clean because I can see there's some blue ink on that one. Okay, so we're going to do Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, and Seaside Spray. Does that look like what I want to do? Balmy Blue is a little too dark, and I think Misty Moonlight would be too deep. So we're going to go with that. And then what I might do is these two are going to be the same. So the snow and the snowflake. The hat, maybe I'll do that in black. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to start off with my largest image, and we'll do Let It Snow. I'm going to do this in Seaside Spray. Hopefully this is going to turn out to be a good combination. So same thing again. I'm going to ink up my bigger image. All right, so we have that. And I know this is going to have words, so we might have to see how it looks with adding other words, and we might have to skip that part altogether. We'll have to see what that looks like. And then we'll do our snowflakes in Pool Party. One thing you wanna be very cognizant of, if you are stamping and you happen to stamp something half off, make sure you go back and re-ink it because a lot of times if you don't, you'll end up with part of it darker and part of it lighter and it never ends up looking as good as you think it's going to. So make sure you take the time to re-ink it. I'm gonna go Coastal Cabana for these little dudes. We'll just add them in. And you know what I might end up doing? I might end up having my hat and snowman that might be part of where I think we're gonna have to do that as a focal image over here instead because I think the way this is worked out it's gonna look nicer if that's not all glam glommed jammed whatever you want to call it together so maybe we'll do our snowman and then we will you know that'll be another one that would be great if I grabbed the punch for that one that would work out really really nicely okay what I'm gonna do is Pardon me one second. I'm going to unmic. I will remember to put it on. Okay. So I grabbed these two. Snowman and a two and a quarter. Okay. So... Here's the thing, and this, maybe you don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna show you because it does make things a little bit easier sometimes. Here is my white. So here's what we're gonna do, in case you've never seen this before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our stamp. So we have the hat. I'm not gonna do, I say I'm not gonna do the arms. I should just do the arms. Hat, snowman. We're going to try it. Why not? I'm just setting these right inside my punch. Just so it's barely resting. And it says, oh, there must not be a carrot. That must be something different. So I'm going to take them like this and I'm just going to pop them up just gently. Closing my, oh, let's try that again. Pop it up, closing my punch. <laughs> Easier said than done. 
And then I'm going to take my block. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's already on low battery mode. Let me close out of this. Okay, so I can finish up. Hopefully it's going to work. I'm going to flip it over. It's frozen. Oh. Let's see if it's back. Mm. Oh, it's good. Okay, now. It probably was the um the battery mode. So I can't use this anymore to film. Note to self. Okay, I couldn't get these two because they're so low. So I have these two here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink these and I'm going to do them in memento. Sorry about that, guys. I know that's such a pain. And I'm going to stamp these and I'm going to stamp them close so I can reach. Okay, good now. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm stamping those. So basically all I did was I couldn't get the arms to line up. They were too, too small. So I put the two stamps on top. I flipped it over, turned it onto my block. So these should punch, hopefully. Cut this off a little bit. Okay, and they should line up perfectly. There you go. Okay. That looks pretty good right there. All right. So I have my snowman and my hat. I could just use this if I wanted to just paint it brown. I know there's an, oh, here's the other one around here somewhere. So maybe we'll just paint those brown quickly just to make it easier. And then I'm going to do one more thing. And I'm going to just grab the two and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch a circle and I'm going to try one more thing. Let's see. So I'm going to do pool party and I have my little uh, snowflakes. So I'm just going to stamp these. Okay. So just like that. Right, and I have my silicone mat. I'm going to put this and this here. Those are the two arms. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Right marker. This is Early Espresso. Clearly, I don't use this one very often because he is, I don't know if he's drying out or he's been sitting in the same position too long. Let me go to self suede. Okay, so there are those two. Now this, all I have to do is just wipe it off so it cleans up really easily. And let's see. Just for sake of making this simple and not letting things move and freeze, I'm going to do these in Stampin' Right markers. You could do Stampin' Blends if you wanted. This is um, Shaded Spruce. I want Pumpkin Pie for his little carrot nose. And not really a whole lot. We'll do cherry cobbler for these little berries. You could do real red, poppy parade. Mm, I'm going to do real red for this part. Okay, then I'm going to take, I think this is smoky slate. Nope, gray granite. So I'm just going to take gray granite and just put just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit of edging for the hat, just so it has a little bit of shading. I don't really, I don't want to color it in. I just want it to have a teeny bit of shading. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with seaside spray because your snowman, he looks very flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up here at the shading and I'm just going to bring a little bit. And you don't really have to do this with blue, but for some reason I equate ice with blue, blueness. You could also do like a light gray. Okay, so we're going to put this together. We're going to put our little snowman. And I'm going to do him on dimensionals just because why not? So one, two, three. Get one on the back of the hat. I'm going to put this up a little bit higher 
just in case. And then I'm going to need a mini glue dot. And I think I have some of these. These are the paper pumpkin ones. So I'm going to put these onto the back of him just to hold those two twig arms in place. Okay, so I'm going to pop the backs of those glue dots off. And this one is over, so I'm just kind of wrapping it. So we'll just put one, whoops, one. If we had some mittens, it would almost be like a Polar Express. Two, okay, and then I'm just going to pull the back of this off. One, two. And I'm going to put his hat on last. Hopefully this will be on there enough. Okay. Now this, there's a little bit of sticky here, but just to compensate for the rest of it, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue. You could also do one other thing if you wanted to. This would have been smarter to do before you put the snowman. You could go around the edge with um, a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to do my seaside spray marker. Just so you can see a little bit of a difference when we put this onto the front of that white panel. Getting my fingers all gluey. I feel like they were today. My fingers are sticky. Why did you touch the spot you weren't supposed to? So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this right down here. You could also even pop this circle up on dimensionals too if you wanted just a little bit of added depth and to kind of separate those two layers. Well, I'm trying to get the stickies off of my finger. But the nice part about the liquid glue is it gives you that chance to adjust it if you need to. And then of course, you cannot have a snowman unless he has some shimmer. So even though we're gonna be very careful with this, we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer to his body. You could either use Wink of Stella or a shimmer pen. No, they also sell black shimmer pens. So you could even add it up here. I'm going to be careful because I just touched the green and it kind of smeared to the rest of his hat. So I'm just going down the bottom here. There we go. Okay, so that was four cards. Pretty simply, I'll say the only one we probably really had trouble with was me and the punching uh, out of the snowman. But So here are one. Let me move these out of the way. So we have one, two, whoopsie, three, and four. So any occasion, and you could absolutely change this. You've got this to pretty much anything that you needed to be. But hopefully you guys can see all of those well. I'm trying to make sure they look like they're all pretty much in the screen. Let me check over here. That looks pretty good. So I'm still delayed just a smidgey. So I'm trying to make sure I catch up and everything is in the screen. Looks like it's in the screen. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will tell you every Wednesday at 930. I feel like I'm missing something. And I know what it is. <laughs> I'm missing having fun with all of you. So I hope you know I'm thinking of you every Wednesday. Even though I'm not on here live. And I'm thinking I wish I was crafting with my friends. But you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I will be back again on Saturday. Again, I'm still kind of up in the air because we do have soccer on Saturday. So I haven't been able to really pinpoint a hard and fast time yet as to when it's going to be. But if you do stay tuned to my Facebook page, I have been posting there about when I'm going to go live approximately. So I hope that's at least somewhat helpful so you guys can tune in. Now, one cool thing is when I'm on YouTube, YouTube almost always gives you an actual active live notification. So that's kind of the bonus to YouTube. Whereas Facebook, sometimes you find out about it an hour after it already ended, which is kind of annoying for all of us. Believe me, I feel the same way when I watch my favorite crafters. If you guys have any questions, as always, you can send me an email at reachthestamper at gmail.com. If you'd like to shop any of these supplies and many, many more, you can go to my online store 24-7. No mask required to get in. That's reachthestamper.stampinup.net.
I have lots of ideas of cards that we've done in the past on my blog at reachthestamper.com. And you can pretty much find me on any handle, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, you name it, at Reach the Stamper. We have a really good deal right now. If you'd like to become part of my team, you get the normal $125 worth of anything that is active. It could be clearance rack. It could be the uh, die cutting machine, whatever you need. But you also get two bonus card packs and two bonus stamp sets. Now that ends September 30th. So if you'd like to be part of my team and just shop with a discount, or if maybe you'd want to start your own little team of stampers or you don't have to do videos. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You can do just what you like and just shop. Be a happy shopper for the discount. We have lots of those people on the team. All you have to do is go to my page, reachthestamper.com, and there is a join now button that you can click. If you have any questions about that, be, you know, be happy to send me an email and I'll be happy to answer for you or help you out if you need help. Otherwise, I will see you guys again on Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you so much for stopping in to spend some time with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day.